Really? There you go. What's up, hybrids? Welcome back to another episode of the Phantom Hybrid Podcast. This is Hanako, and I am here with Casey and Michelle, and we are discussing uh, actually a couple of things today. Um, the regular episode is going to cover Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 10, but first, first, we have a trailer for The Ones Who Live. Yeah, we to talk about it a little bit because we have been waiting forever for a full trailer, and we got one. And um, is it February 25th yet? Swear I know. I know. I'm just going to put this out there and everybody knows how I feel. The night is so beautiful in this trailer. I just. <laughs> <laughs> She's gorgeous. She is. And that smile at the end. I was like, she smiling at me. We finally get a glimpse of Rick Grimes and what he's been doing for the last uh, six years in the walking dead timeline maybe a little bit more now since michonne's been gone for a while um but yeah you see how chunky his face is now he don't have that slim slender that he had he he looks like he's been he looks like he's been eating like he's not on the road struggling and Mm -hmm. fighting with but you know that comes with some um some conflicts apparently because in this trailer we see a lot of him fighting, um, but if you are familiar with The Walking Dead World Beyond, which also figures the CRM very prominently in that show, you'll see that what we see him doing is the same thing we saw Silas doing as far as, I guess, that was um, like their their training for them to take their place as part of the CRM cog. You know, they saved him from near death and he has to pay you know he has to pay it back so that's what i think we're seeing a lot of in the trailer but you see some hostility there with him yes and then of course some of the dialogue that he says in the trailer he's what did he say my wife is my choice which let me stop he said my wife so all of those rick and michonne detractors who keep saying that they're not married and blah 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 he said it from his own lips. My wife. My wife. My wife. So anyway, my wife is my choice. My daughter is my choice. My life is my choice. Mm-hmm. So we've had some speculation as we've talked about The Walking Dead, trying to figure out, okay, so why the hell has Rick not come back if he was alive this whole time? And I think after Casey and I watched The World Beyond, because Michelle, you still have not seen The World Beyond. No, just right? a couple of episodes. Okay. So I think it feels like they're keeping him there against his will. Right. And even in the trailer, the one young lady said, you have shown me that you can't get away. Let me yep. tell y'all. Okay. That's Leslie Ann Brandt. So that's okay. I have to, I have to put it out there. That's my girl crush. I have, she played maze on Lucifer, but I know her from Spartacus. Yes. That's Wait a her. Second. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's I have to her. watch the trailer again, but I know her from Spartacus and I have loved her since then. So when I found out she was joining the walking dead universe, I was like, yes. I have no clue oh. what I'm talking about. Oh yes, and now I, I go Spartacus because I watched Spartacus prior to that. I, yeah, which, which, I was excited about uh, John Locke, Locke, Terry O'Quinn. Yes, like, Locke. So this is why you really need to watch World Beyond because he plays um, General Bill, who is over the CRM. He's over mm-hmm. that military. In the world beyond, he's only mentioned um, very briefly in the first season and then a lot more in the second season, but we never see his face. We never actually meet him because the main antagonist in that show, she works under him. So she's like in charge of the military and, and everything that's going on in the world beyond, but he is over her. So we don't know a lot about who he is and 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 his motivations or what he's doing. So this will be our first in-depth look at his character. I don't know how I can say in-depth. I think it's only six episodes, but you get what I'm saying. I get what but you're yeah, saying. I was excited. I was mm-hmm. like, oh. 
Like when it's six episodes, that means it's gonna move fast. It is, and it's going to be quality episodes. Mm-hmm. I can tell. It, it has, has to be tra- that trailer. Mm-hmm. It has you to can be. tell. You look, you can't bring us Rick and Michelle and then bring us bullshit. It's just not. It's not about to happen. We have been waiting for too, too long. long for these characters for this reunion. Yeah, you can't. You you gotta come. You gotta come with it. Now I have questions, of course. All right, let's see if we can answer some of your questions based on what we know from World Beyond. No, yeah, I can answer these questions. You sure? But one, but one highlight is, as a cruiser, I love seeing a cruise ship. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see a cruise ship like <laughs> that. Yeah. Because I, was I was thinking like, that somebody may have repurposed one and they I was just saying, already the sea. know somebody living on it. But Not now looking at looks. that, now how it looks, I was thinking, nah, because you really do have to take care of those. They got to go to the dry dock. So, it, yeah. that's. And I mean, it was there. on land. So chances are, I mean. It, it came ashore or washed mm-hmm. ashore. And, but if someone's still living on one, that's amazing. Because the work it puts, like, literally cruise lines have to take them off for months to go to dry dock to clean them up. There's mm-hmm. no place to do that. Yeah. So it was just it was just kind of cool as a cruiser to see a cruise ship just land. I thought so too, but I was like, I don't know if I would want to be on that cruise ship. And and the thing, it has a huge banner on it that says safe harbor. And I'm sorry, after terminus, anytime something says that there's a safe place, that doesn't mean that I don't trust it. it ain't. No, I mm-mm. can't mm-mm. because the the way that it looks, it looks like it's been overrun yeah or that it's it crashed does. or that it's it's just it's not in good condition it, it doesn't even look like i would want to go stay there overnight while i'm on my way mm-hmm. somewhere because that thing looks like it will topple over any minute yeah mm-hmm. but it was cool because you don't we we don't see a lot of that like i think the closest that we got was the um tales of the walking dead episode with alpha where they were on the dinner cruise boat you know that's a smaller version but Mm -hmm. i mean if you think about it those cruise ships carry thousands of people and my question is did the outbreak start on that cruise ship like were people on a cruise when that happened because again we only know what happened in certain areas or certain neighborhoods based Mm -hmm. on those that we've seen like Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the Daryl Dixon show um, after we finish covering fear. But if you look at the way they showed us how Paris fell, that was very different um, in in some ways from what we've seen for like Mm -hmm. Fear the Walking Dead. And like the Walking Dead, we didn't even really see the fall because we saw Rick get shot and then he wakes up three months later in the hospital and everything has already happened at that point. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be interesting to see what we learn from this show. But mainly, I just need to know what Rick been doing. How many times has Rick tried to escape? Like that's a question I have. So you know, you know, Rick is Mm -hmm. even though he seems a little more like maybe Rick has learned, especially through his dealings with what happened with Negan. You can't go half cocked in every situation, and these people did just save your life. So maybe he's just like, okay, I'm just gonna. Buy pay my, my cars, do what I'm supposed to do, mm-hmm. pay them back, and then go home. And then maybe at some point they were like, "Okay, well, we need you to stay here because you are a man of skill. You what you know, whatever the case may be." And maybe that's when he told them, "Um, excuse me, I got a wife and child back home. I need to go back home." But of course, and I've said this before. I think Casey and I talked about it when we uh, covered World Beyond. I feel like they threatened him because. If they know the general area where they picked him and Jadis up from, that wasn't too far from where Alexandria was. I mean, they were they were literally right there where they were building the bridge. Mm. So it would have been nothing for them, especially with the helicopter, to go back to Alexandria and be like, oh, so you're trying to get back here? Well, let's just go and take care of this. Because um, I have to say, small spoiler alert, Michelle, Casey and I know from watching World Beyond and then you see it in this trailer they're not above shooting some stuff down 
and bringing some buildings down. But we also, yeah, I, I know that because you also know that with Fear the Walking Dead and all that dealing with the tapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that was them, correct? Uh, it yeah. has to be. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's a, I got so many thoughts going through, racing through my head. One of my thoughts is I would love to see the conversation when they finally get together even in season one or season two, because I wanted Rick to say, so you left Judith with who? <laughs> He's not going to say that. I know, but in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Oh, and then when you find out he got a son. That's going to be the kicker. Yes, and who did you leave them with? Well, I well, left I mean, them with, I'm not quite sure anymore, because Daryl ran to Paris. No, I'm just kidding. But she don't but, know that. Right, know. she doesn't know that. But here's the thing, too. But that's just my entertainment. I know. But <laughs> he are, he also knows Michonne is not just going to just leave Judith oh, yeah. just with anybody. So I think when he sees her, when he finally sees her, first thing he's probably going to do is panic because if, if Michonne is here looking for him and Judith is not with her, that's there's always the possibility that Ju Judith could be dead. So he yeah. may panic and think that. Or that she gets caught up and she won't be able to leave to even go back home. Mm -hmm. And then now he has to make tough decisions. But it's just a little side note as a parent, as in we have that conversation. Yeah, I think another, a lot of people have Another that. show that I watch dealing with a parent trying to get their child and take them back to the other parent. And they didn't have an opportunity to do that yet in this series. Handmaid's Tale is they had that conversation of you know you still left the child there and they were feeling guilt and all that stuff mm -hmm. so it's just interesting because you know in the Walking Dead series we leave kids you know because they <laughs> we leave kids behind but that's mm -hmm. okay yeah. Yeah. that's Parents a side note too. that's a side note and another one was one of the soldiers saying that they were the um not the biggest but the strongest military do you say strongest I military so. and then I was thinking that Okay, so if you are, where have you been in different situations? Because if you sneaking in to get things, maybe blow a building down, but we haven't seen you in situations we need to see you in. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they all about self-preservation, honey. Because you, you seem are. to be in the north section. Like, mm -hmm. what's going to happen with Negan and Maggie? Have y'all went to New York to see what's going on? That man came up with an innovative way for power. I don't know. We're going to see. Because if you're the strongest military, everybody should know that. Mm -hmm. And some people don't know that because y'all walk in secret. So are you really the strongest? Because y'all haven't gone to get some of these crazy people in the South. Yeah. But I mean, if you if you look at one of the shots um, in the trailer, you see like this large army. Yeah, you I large. Think, I think that's an army of the dead. I don't think those were living people. Now I know the CRM has a lot of people because even um in the world beyond, they were in, I believe it was was it Pittsburgh or Philadelphia? One of those two cities was where one was a lot of where the story was taking place. And they said in that city alone they had two hundred thousand people, not soldiers, but people. So at this point, you don't really have to have like millions to have the largest or the strongest army because more than 50% of your population has been wiped out. Right. But are you the strongest because you have a helicopter? Like you don't know yet. You're the strongest because you got numbers on your side. Mm -hmm. You got the quantity. Mm -hmm. but do you have the quality? Can you win in a war? I don't know who the war against. I'm just saying. Right. We haven't experienced them. So to, I like where we're going. I like the show. But then I would like to see the CRM like float. Well, we can't do fear anymore because that's over. But we'd like to see them float into other areas. Well, they've been in fear before. Well, well they have. But it was, you know, it was a, it I wouldn't say as, quick. Uh, but it wasn't, right. It mm -hmm. wasn't intense and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It just that's just my thought. I was just thinking that. And I'm like, well, you say that, but do we really know? You know right. what I'm saying? I want to see it. Right. Right. 
Because some of these other people are really crazy. And even though they may not have the numbers, they may end up taking you down. Yeah, but I don't know. Because if you... If I'm you saying we can it, burn it down. But we if you can, go I back feel like to he it, to burn it down, though. If you go back to World Beyond, look look what them folk kids did. See, I don't know. They must do no, the lot. Gonna, yeah, that's about why about. you need to go watch it. But, yeah. but so, even, so that means they did some things. So are you really strong? But I mean, I will say this: they they have to be strong because if you look at two instances in the trailer where you see these large, and I don't mean just like. Oh, that's a herd. I'm talking thousands large of the dead. That's the one Michelle organized. Mm -hmm. That's something. That's something a weak person can't do. That's somebody. That's something an unorganized person can't do. You, in order to keep them, because even when you see the shot of Michonne on the horse and she's shooting something into that crowd. They are literally standing still, like nobody is coming for her. Right. Mm-hmm. That was what I was gonna say. Like, no, I was I was trying to see if it was like a barrier or something. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. them, but they weren't even like, you know how they Mm-mm. they weren't even doing yeah. that. And but I'm I'm I with think... you. I'm with you on that. I was just saying we don't know until you up against something. Yeah. But That's the other thing saying. about the CRM that we learn in the first season of World Beyond, and which is one of the reasons why. Rick is probably there. They were doing experiments. Mm -hmm. Now they were doing experiments on some live people, but they were doing experiments on walkers. Um, They need June. There was a, there was a scientist there. Well, it wasn't necessarily medical experiments in that sense. Like, yes, they were doing medical experience uh, experiments, trying to figure out if there was a way to cure but mm-hmm. they were also, um, if you saw at the end of you this, can weaponize it. Yeah, Use they were weaponizing weapon. something. Mm-hmm. You saw the green gas at the end. But also, um, one of the characters from World Beyond, who was the father of the two main characters, he was um, he was developing a tracking system, kind of similar to the Doctor in the the uh, the, Tales. the Tales episode where they were trying to see how they how they migrate or you know mm-hmm. if there's any rhyme or reason to their patterns to see if they still retained anything like i have to go back and rewatch that series cuz it's been a couple of years but there were other things that they were doing that if they're doing it for the right reasons yeah i'm looking i'm sorry y'all i'm looking at this this shot of Michonne on the horse and all of these things that's if that's not tens of thousands of walkers there i don't know what that is but the fact that they're all in that one part like something had to bring them there because we know that herds they kind of they kind of travel and they kind of you know they break Mm -hmm. off and they join together but i've never even with alphas and and the whisperers horde they had to herd them like that to get them, the, to put them in the quarry or not the quarry, but to put them in that area they had them in. They had to like take groups of walkers to do something like that. That's a massive organized effort. And that mm-hmm. makes me a little bit scared. I mean, yeah, the CRM is scary based on what we've seen and what they're doing, but First, we don't know where in this timeline this takes place. This obviously, I feel like, takes place maybe, I would say maybe before or in the midst of World Beyond because we do see Jadis in the second season and she does make a reference to Rick. But she talks, If I got to go back and look at the clip. She talks about Rick in the past tense, like as if he's not no longer there with them. So I'm thinking either he's still alive and they took him somewhere else, or at this point he's already escaped. But again, we don't know because we don't know where in this timeline this is. We know, um, we know that the world beyond was 10 years after the fall. So they were in that first 10 years. Which it was it was it after the fall, ten years after the fall. Mm-hmm. After That's the, when okay. it took place. Mm-hmm. 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 
because because they start out the um they start out the the first episode it's an uh, a 10 year anniversary right because uh, i like saw the one. first two so mm-hmm. i did see the mm-hmm. um plane crash okay yeah them yeah. talking about that yeah mm-hmm. so um so what so just coming back to the crm so if you are that strong again i feel like you need to expand and restart the world you got this military who are we fighting you really need to get with the commonwealth because they have got the people down you got the military down Mm -hmm. okay and i'm not gonna make my jokes about finding resources because like the crm can (laughs) wasn't didn't some something somewhere confirm that the crm knew about the commonwealth they probably they had to i mean you would think think they they would know they would have to I don't know if it's been confirmed, but I feel like they would have to. And maybe they looked at it and they were like, oh, they have 50,000 people. That's not a threat to us. We have 200,000 just in this one city. And we know the CRM well, has a we, network of cities. Right. But because mean, they were in, um, they were in, what is it? Corinth, New York. They were in Omaha, Nebraska. They're in um, Portland. And they mentioned one other city. Which is interesting. That's what so I'm saying. Like it's north. just all in the north. Mm-hmm. It's like now you can start expanding um south. But you know what? I kind of feel like maybe they're all staying in the north and not going south because for one entity, no matter how big it is, for you to try to control so much in so many different areas or in such over such a wide area. Mm-hmm. That's going to be wasting your resources. At least north, from what we can gather, most of the CRM cities they are pretty much on a straight line because you have you have a um, you have a base in New York. They mention a base in Portland, and then you have Omaha, Nebraska, right here. And like I said, there there was one other city that they mentioned, so mm-hmm. it has to go somewhere within that line. But again. If we're talking about the Commonwealth, didn't we talk about the Commonwealth was a little bit north of Virginia, like maybe a couple of states north? Mm-hmm. So, because to get to New York, they had to go up. Mm-hmm. Remember, they were trying they were mm-hmm. to find their dad. They had to go to New York or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if how long did it take them to get from the Commonwealth to Alexander? That's the thing. We can, time is a construct when it comes to the Walking Dead yeah, we, because if you think about know. how many times they went from, Back I mean, and you forth. had Lance come down to Alexandria. You had yeah. them go from Alexandria when they were getting ready to go back to Alexandria towards the end when Pamela was letting them go back. They were taking a horse and a buggy, right? So, so. I I don't know. I think it would be very helpful, which they probably still won't do. So we'll have to rely on other fans and ourselves to kind of figure this out. We got to figure out where everything is and we got to draw our own map because we're still trying to figure out where Padre is and fear the walking dead. But you know what? This all says that when you have so many questions and you want to know why and how and when, that makes it more interesting. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, it's going to so, be interesting anyway because it's Rick and Michonne. Right, it is, but it's just it just keeps the in, the intrigue, which is going to lead us to you know fear. Right. Well, I have no questions, but right. But we we also found out we get confirmation what the Japanese is that's written on the cell phone okay. that Michonne found, and it's believe a bit longer, longer. or believe just a bit longer. I was like, okay. So all she needs. Yeah. But I don't know if you noticed the draw in one of the um one of the shots in the trailer when Rick is looking at the phone, it's a different drawing than the one mm-hmm. on the cell phone Michonne has. So yeah. I don't know I if they, it was two separate phones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he has I'm him a um iPhone with her picture on it. So I'm wondering if he's making those drawings and just kind of laying them here and yeah. there like hey find me which i don't know if he would ever think that she would even try to find him because you know she would 
But and and that's that's the thing about their love. Now I'm gonna get all sappy. That's beautiful because in a time like this, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and a woman or a man come looking for you after years. Well, he also knows she ain't she ain't no punk bitch. So he also knows. She no, but I'm just saying because she could be no, like, but I'm saying oh. be able to go look for him. Yeah, like he go through she, all of this. She, you know, she ain't weak. She's not one of the women. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I try oh like his first you. wife. We're not even going there. We're not going there. We're not going there. We're not okay, going there. But back up. But so like, the love, I'm going to go with the love, just the love that, you know, conquers all that you're going to go through all of this to mm-hmm. find this man. Mm-hmm. Because on, because let's, let's face it, in his eyes, he probably thinks, she thinks I'm dead because right. he did kind of blow up a bridge. He did. And he did kind of blow up with the bridge. And he did look, say, I'm sorry. So he thought he was going to die. Yeah. Yeah. And in his mind, if he's being rational, which Mm -hmm. we know he can be, Mm -hmm. he's probably thinking, one, there's no reason for her to think that I'm alive anyway, Mm -hmm. much less for her to travel to wherever the hell it is. I mean, Mm -hmm. there's mountains in the background. He is no, is snow-capped mountains. He's somewhere in the north. That's so far off from where she is. And at the time, they they still had a toddler. Judith was, what, four years old when Rick left, when Rick disappeared. Mm-hmm. So in his mind, he's probably thinking, I got to get back to them to let them know I'm alive. He, I, I'm telling you now, ain't no way that Rick is thinking that Michonne is coming to look for him. Because <laughs> what reason would she have to? She thinks he's dead. He blew up the bridge. And she has a little one to take care of at home. He doesn't know about RJ. She probably hadn't even found out that she was pregnant when he um when he died. Quote, unquote, died. Mm. So Rick is just sitting there like, I need to get back to them because I need to let them know I'm still yeah. here. I agree. But you in know. some kind of way, you have to figure that he would think that word would get back some kind of way. Because in the initial, at the ending of The Walking Dead, when he threw the bag onto the boat, you had something in you would say, hopefully this will find. Mm, I think he was, was just trying to get, he was just trying to get away from the CRM and they found him. I think that's all that was. I don't think at no, that point. even in the notebook he was writing, remember? But, well... So he's writing so, that. So part of him, yeah. So uh, to me, part of him is thinking, but even if it ain't Michonne that comes and find him, Daryl, because he knows yep, Daryl tra- ain't yeah, he tra- Right, and Daryl's you know a tracker. So, so he's not even a clue mm-hmm. be for someone who knows who you are. Because if Or somebody will him, find it. That, if Daryl found it, he would know that's Michonne. Mm-hmm. He would know that that's Judith. He would. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's mm-hmm. doing it with the expectation that somebody, somebody got to come look for my ass. And then you know when he finds out that she is looking for him, he gonna be like, I feel sorry for you guys. Because yeah, <laughs> if she came sorry. all this way. If she came all this way. She ain't leaving without him. She no. gonna take some shit down. Mm-hmm. She ain't leaving without him. She gonna be like, excuse me, I need my baby mm-hmm. daddy back. Mm-hmm. And like, right walk up now. to the door like, mm-hmm. it's right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know he is there. Y'all need to be scared. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tried to escape, but when she comes, mm-mm-mm. it's going to be a mess. Now, the other things that they've released in the last couple of uh, weeks, they've released like these very small snippets, like 10 seconds. One of them was of, it looks like a street corner where Rick and somebody else, like they showed somebody else's shoes and then they showed his boots. Um getting ready to cross the street and i was like okay he has to be in one of the crm cities because other than that that doesn't make sense you know and it's so funny because somebody somebody i i happened to look on a post where they posted that and so many of the comments were like that doesn't even make sense she has his boots why would he have his boots i'm like do y'all not realize that they're telling the story from before she found the boots like yeah, mm. we found the boots. Mm. Yeah, we know he was taken. They're telling the story in between. Did they not? Ex- did they not say that very explicitly? Pop up like, hey, we're gonna start from right here. No. So of course, she- anyway, and then the other one 
was just a snippet of somebody walking up to a door and sticking a key in for an apartment. I was like, okay, there's got to be Rick. Like wherever it is, he's staying in the CRM because if he's a soldier in the CRM, if they've if they've promoted him and he's a soldier, he has to do what he has to do. Then he would have housing. He would, um, he would be living very well compared to what he was living with in Alexandria. You know, because you do have people here who are making sure, at least, what we think they are making sure that their people are okay, that they have the resources to do stuff. We know that the CRM has medicine. We know that they have gasoline. We know that they have food. We know that they have medicine. So it's possible Rick, one, did stay because he was forced to stay, but he, knowing Rick, he was also gathering information like, okay, so let me see what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Not knowing, you know, Unfortunately, and I hate to say it, not knowing half the people he loved is dead because there's a lot of people that they lost in the Whisperer War that he has no clue about. Man, that's a bedtime story for him. Man, listen. But you know, his main ones is going to be his kids and Daryl. Mm hmm. Because she, Michelle. And, and, mm-hmm. and Carol. And Carol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anybody yeah. else. You know. Like, oh, I'm so sorry for them. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't here to save them, but yeah, I mean, but like I said, when they when they do get together, when even when it's just one, and now Michonne gets to them, you know, they destroy everything they come in contact with. What Man. was it, Mercy? I love Dad? them, but they come every time they get in contact with something, they destroy it. So, mm-hmm. what was it, Mercy said? Time to fuck shit up. That's yep. what they about to do. Yep. <laughs> and I'm ready for it. I'm so ready for it. February 25th. So we have just over six weeks. Excellent. That gives me time to binge watch season one and two of The World Beyond. Yes. And I'm going to go back and rewatch it. Um, Because we didn't, because it was a limited series and because we were just starting like the Walking Dead type part of this podcast, Casey and I, I think for the first season, we own, we reviewed the season as a whole. Mm -hmm. And then I think we, I think maybe for season two, we did episode by episode. We did every couple of episodes or something like that. I don't remember. God, that was what, three years ago. I think that was three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I have to go back and refresh my, um, my memory because there are, like I said, they mentioned General Bill. And so we know that he's going to be in this series. There are some other characters from that series that I'm hoping will show up in this series. Mm-hmm. So specifically one of our teenage characters, I would like to see him in this one. And we know that he was uh, part of the CRM towards the end of that show. So I'm hoping, but um, yeah. I'm I'm like so ready, but oh my God, all of the, like, all of these walkers and Michonne is just sitting out there on her horse by herself. And I'm just like, well, this is going to be interesting to see how she gets through that. I don't know what that was. She shot through, but one of the walkers, you can actually see him do this. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if that was. If that was on purpose, because when she shot the thing and she turned around and looked, uh, I was like, oh, okay. So I guess that Walker was like, what the hell are you doing? But yeah, so we'll, um, six weeks and we will be covering that. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm like really excited. But um, y'all have anything else to say about the trailer before we get into this Fear the Walking Dead episode? I, I, I would say I would rather sit here and talk more about nope. it. <laughs> yeah, because we could go back through the trailer again. Okay. Like when they blew up the building, where was that? I wonder. See, that's the thing. Okay, so they showed us the skyline. That... And mm-hmm. I found one, but I don't think this is to see where it's plotting everything. Mm-hmm. But I haven't found a good one. Okay, because I know we can probably take that skyline that Rick was sitting in front of. That's on supposed the to be in New Jersey. 
Okay, is that where it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, but then again, my thought: if you in New Jersey, how you don't know about the Croat? Well, it depends on the time for uh, the timeline, because this could be before like the Croat, Croat been set up for a while. Remember, they burned all the bridges so nobody could get out. I mean, bombed all the bridges so nobody could get in or out. They had to know about the leader there. That's what I'm saying. They have to know about the almost old lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying is interesting, but I can see where you don't fool with New York. Like that's a lost cause. Let them do whatever yeah. they want to in New York. Yeah, like, especially if the br the bridge. Like why are we? Why am I gonna put my soldiers in New York for what? And mm -hmm. maybe they have already learned about the power situation there from having the spy. We don't know if they have some spies that go in just mm -hmm. collect data and come on out. But if you think about it too, maybe what the Croat is doing as far as the power and mm -hmm. how he has that set up maybe it's only working that well because they are in a limited space because they're on the island of manhattan it's blocked off from everything else so it's not like they're extending those resources throughout the entire state so maybe the crm could have looked they could have gone and seen oh well you know that part of the city is bombed, is, is blocked off because, like you said, they bombed the bridges. So there's really no way for them to get in and out unless they have boats. And judging from what we learn about the Croat, they don't really let you leave. Mm. So there's probably not boats or if they are, they're hidden. Not enough for, I feel, the CRM to feel threatened. They're probably like, okay, so you may have let's say 100, 200, 300, 500, even 1,000 people on this island, but you have even more dead, at some point, the math is not going to math and all of those people are going to die. That's probably what's in their mind. Mm -hmm. But that 1,000 people is not going to be enough to threaten them. Right. I mean, it's so. and it's not a resource. Like, it's nothing we need from there. Because again, they don't, they don't need, need to the, collect people. Yeah, they don't they don't need the power. They they actually have electricity, at least in the city that we saw in the world beyond. They had electricity. They had working TVs. They had working lights, working stoves. They don't need what the Croat and them have. It'll be nice for them to look at, I mean, for, for them to use if they get into that situation. But I feel like the CRM is... I don't want to say arrogant enough, but I feel that they are confident enough that what they are doing to get the world back running is enough. And they don't need to go back to those quote unquote kind of primitive methods. So I found a map. You found a map. I found a map. And what does the map say? I'm finna, it, 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 let me see if you can kind of see it. It's a map and it has little plots everywhere. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. So it so that map tells us kind of where yeah it got little plots I'm gonna hold on okay it got little plots and everything I was gonna find a map <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to create our own map so so we can we can have that kind of thing okay, I just it. send it let me know what y'all think of that so let's see we're gonna look at this map that Casey has sent us. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Somebody said I have created a I I created a The Walking Dead universe map based on all informations we got. I've spent many hours on it, and I am proud to say things should be accurate. However, feel free to point out mistakes. I will be upload. I will be updating this every month or so. And this is, it looks like uh, the username is Johnny Z-I-B on the Walking Dead Reddit. So we want to give the credit where credit is due. Let me take a look at this map. Okay, so I don't have my glasses on, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. You can zoom in on it. I, I, I had to. Yeah. It. Okay, so according to this map, it looks like you have CRM. The CRM is very firmly in the Northeast. Um, you see the the three circle symbol in Illinois, yeah, Indiana, mm -hmm. Ohio, Kentucky, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York. New York. 
So yeah, they're very firmly ensconced in that Northeast. And then you do see them in Texas as well, which is probably the location that we saw in Fear the Walking Dead. They actually have two locations there in Texas and there is a question mark in New Mexico. So I don't know if that question mark is for um, the CRM or if it's just for any of our people who are over there, mo most likely the fear people. But um, I'll take a look at this map in more detail when I can and when I have glasses on. So I can see. Yeah, because he does, since it was like three years ago, he doesn't have Padre. Yeah, he it's doesn't have Padre. Being, like, that could like, be because don't nobody know where Padre is because we have <laughs> Um, and it doesn't have Commonwealth. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it don't have the last few years, but this this gives us a general idea, right? right. Okay, okay. So yeah, we just need to figure that out, and then we we gotta find us a good timeline somewhere, like a good solid timeline so i think I that needs to be our homework so with alexandra oceanside hilltop the kingdom i'm feeling like commonwealth is in that area or pennsylvania i think it has to be a little bit i feel like it's not necessarily in that area because if yeah, it so were if you, look, if you look up here oh, oh he has uh, it he has it yeah. he has commonwealth yeah. I'm sorry, in Ohio. Yeah. Okay. That kind of makes sense because I feel like with the Commonwealth, if they had known about all of that, Hill, you know, Hilltop, Alexandria, um, Ocean, maybe not Oceanside so much because they were so close to the coast, but even Sanctuary, what Negan was doing as far as how he was getting his numbers, how he was getting mm -hmm. his resources, I feel like Commonwealth as much outreach as they have done, if they had been in that area, they would have found out about these communities and at some point either offered them sanctuary to come in and join with them, safe behind walls with resources, with quote unquote regular life. You know, they had carnivals and all this other stuff. So I feel like they would have done that if they had known about these these um communities and they would have known about these communities if they were within 20 miles of them because i think all of those communities were kind of that spaced apart we know that it's 20 miles from where dwight and sherry lives to the sanctuary because she mentioned that in last week's episode so yeah yeah i i think i really think similarly to what we thought about the commonwealth they looked at these um they looked at these neighborhoods like oh there's only 25 30 people here we're not even going to bother with them they mm -hmm. you know that's just more mouths to feed they probably can't contribute blah 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 that you know they're not they're not living in great condition that sort of thing i just feel like the crm probably would have done the same thing with the commonwealth i mean granted fifty thousand dollars i mean fifty thousand people is nothing to sneeze at mm -hmm. but when you have two hundred thousand of your own just in one spot and as you can mm -hmm. see by this map you are in several states i they they probably weren't worried about the commonwealth they're probably like yeah they they have weapons they have this that and the other they don't have helicopters. They don't have military vehicles, not like that. They didn't have tanks, um, you know, that sort of thing. So, But you know what? To be honest with you, we don't know if they already had, um, they had talks with You're Pamela. Right. And we, we, we don't about know. That. Yeah, yeah we like Pamela about that. died. It's not like she's, you know, like gave them a handbook of how to run Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And then CRM is probably like, okay, new management. Let me see how it's going first. Mm -hmm. Before and we, we still don't know who Lance them. was working with. Right. So they could have been talking back and forth, trading, or like she knew that they were the, you know, they were the top. She had to report in. Mm -hmm. And then with new management, they're probably just like, let's yeah. see what's happening before we reach out to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because they could know because they're sitting near one. They're sitting near two CRM posts. So Clearly, CRM has said something to them to let you know I'm in charge. Man. That could be where the trains were going. 
could be. Mm. They could be shipping people there when they well, collect people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. They were about to ship Connie off, remember? Mm -hmm. We don't yeah. know where they were shipping her, so we, they right. were shipping her yeah. yeah. to the CRM because again, CRM they are running tests and experiments, so mm -hmm. you never know with Connie. Um, you know, with Connie being uh, um, deaf, they might say, "Oh, okay, so how will that affect whatever this is?" or who who knows what they could have done? But yeah, that's always a possibility. Again, I. I am excited to see what the story is going to be and how it's going to unfold because there's a lot of questions like they really could do, they they probably could have done a full season just of this. I mm -hmm. wouldn't have complained, but mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes. I don't know if this- But with it being only six episodes, I think that it's going to be more action-packed and the pace is going to be a lot faster. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You can't really go slow with this. And even, even if you could with Why Michonne and Rick, you, I don't think you would want to, because even in the episodes where we had them together, there was a lot of action in those episodes. Yeah. They took time to do this over here, do that over there, but it was mostly action. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. I'm and I just, I'm I just patient. sent you guys a timeline link. Okay. Okay. okay, but that's that's for later because it's long said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, there's a lot that you have to piece together. If you think about The Walking Dead, you have the main show, you have Fear the Walking Dead, you have World Beyond, Daryl Dixon, Dead City, about to have the uh, Rick and Michonne show, but then you also have the webisodes. Any episode, yeah. So you have the air the airplane webisodes, which. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if I ever actually finished watching the, those. So I may have to go back and look for those. I know some of them are on YouTube, but then you also have the stuff that happens in the neighborhood, which you see a little bit of how that happened. Like the, uh, the bicycle girl, we we find out her origin story. Um, the one that Rick came across in the park, mm -hmm. uh, that walker. So I guess at some point, <laughs> at some point, I'm going to have to go through this timeline and say, okay, so this is where this starts. Let me start looking and just kind of refresh myself because again, this is still a world and a universe that I enjoy watching stuff in. Um, there have been some things that we've seen that we've not been as enthused about this final season of Fear the Walking Dead being one of them. But overall, I still enjoy the story. I still enjoy it most of the characters and i enjoy the possibilities of what's coming next so it's like okay once you do this rick and michelle show you have what we have season two of dead city which we have not received i don't think we've gotten any word of them starting on that yet we know mm -hmm. that they're already filming um daryl dixon the book of carol so what's coming after that i don't know but I'm ready for Rashawn. I am ready. I am ready. I'm ready to see what kind of t-shirts Casey gonna make us for uh for ATL <laughs> Comic Convention next month because we are doing some panels there. And you know it's gonna be one. You I know, know. we can't talk about the panels yet. We have to wait for them to be confirmed and everything, but we are presenting panels. We did get approved. We're doing three. So we will post more information about that once they are confirmed. But I think we are done with trailer talk. And can now move over to Fear the Walking Dead. All right. Fear the Walking Dead, episode 10. So we get back to Madison. <laughs> Take the disdain out of your voice. <laughs> I'm I'm really trying. But, you know, I, the, my disdain actually spreads in this episode because... There's quite a bit to be irritated with. Oh god. It is. But there were some highlights. There were some. I only have one, but there were some highlights. <laughs> what is your what highlight? Is highlight? My highlight was when um when they when Victor was talking and they were comparing him to uh Troy. He was like, I'm not a psycho. I just have issues. There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you are correct. 
He, he is, is correct. But you know what? He I is not a psycho. He's not a, a psycho. Mm -hmm. He has issues. Deep ones. And I will say this. He said some of the stuff I'm doing is nothing in comparison to what he did. Right. But also, I like the way he was calling everybody else out on their bullshit too. Mm -hmm. Because everybody is sitting there judging him based on the stuff that he did at the tower. And when June walks up to him and he was like, hold up, I... I he was like, so you trying to say, I can't change. You're saying you didn't change. Cause I remember when you were doing things that weren't all that Naomi. great. Naomi. Yep. I was like, yep. I yep. knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. But literally Naomi for me, every single one of those people have done things that were detrimental to other people mm -hmm. just so they could survive. I mean, mm -hmm. we already know the story with Dwight and Sherry. And yes, while Sherry, was forced into the position she was in with Negan. She was the one, and Dwight was the one who stole Daryl's dirt bike and left him to fend for himself. That was not a mm -hmm. that was not a Negan thing at that point. Mm -hmm. That was y'all. Y'all were trying to get away from Negan, and y'all put your own self preservation against this person who helped y'all. But wait a second, didn't Dwight? uh do an arrow that and was after stole. all he, of that he mm -hmm. shot he shot daryl but i thought he also did the arrow in the girl's face no yeah he did he he killed denise but that okay. was like later and he wasn't actually trying to kill denise he was trying to shoot at daryl because again well, things happen see that's yeah. all i'm saying so yeah but i mean like you you screwed Daryl over, so you were right to be scared of him and to be mm -hmm. like, oh, let me kill him mm -hmm. before he kills me. Because mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. Daryl would have killed him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone has done some dirt. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to compare dirt. Right. My dirt ain't as dirty as your dirt. <laughs> but I mean, Victor has... Madison is dirty too. Girl, don't get me started. Do not get me started. Because I'm saying, I'm I'm just saying that's that's dirty. When you, when it's starting to get kids involved and separation, like that's dirty. That's real dirty. Right. Right. And then she had the nerve to look at Victor when when him and Tracy find her in the clearing, and he was like, "This is Troy's doctor. She daughter. She's like, what are you doing with her? Why did you have her at the top, bitch? Did you steal children for for less? I mean." At least he less. Had Tracy, one, he was trying to keep her safe. I do believe he was sincere about that. Yeah. Two, he was trying to make sure Troy was not going to attack Padre. Mm -hmm. I do believe he was sincere about that. You got some nerve questioning him. I would let me tell you, I rolled my eyes so much during this episode because I was like, all of y'all have been in situations similar to this before right and the thing the, what bothers me is our mission I mean I don't think this, is, what this is not looking for a loved one that's alive I'm looking for a body okay so, so I'm, I can put I, it to rest. I'm, I'm done no it, this is see, too much thing. people are dying right. for you to find Right. A walker, which is which is what Luciana said. She was like, Tra "Trace is going to help me find Alicia so I can put her to rest." Luciana said, "I have people that are still breathing that I have to that I need to be concerned about." Right? Like, what are you? And, and the other thing is this again: you didn't go look for your children in the first place once you escaped from the stadium. Now, granted, that I part. know you didn't go look for them, so. For you to all of a sudden now have all this survivor's guilt, oh, I need to go put them to rest and blah, 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 blah. Okay, one, all of this talk of Alicia, 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 y'all already are telling me that she is not dead and she going to show up in the final episode of this, of this series. I already know this because y'all talking about her too much. Y'all mm. talking about her too much. Even with these new chicks, who showed up in the fucking MRAP, which I got so excited when I saw that MRAP because I was like, is Al coming back? No. Right. 
No. It's, it's three random chicks who Who's telling us what happened. apparently help, helped. Mm-hmm. And now they're carrying on the work in her name. Right. Using and her name. First- like, they don't even use their own names because we want people to still think that she's alive and out there helping. So... Yeah, y'all just told me everything I need to know about Alicia's character for the rest of this season. She's going to show up at some point alive and well, and Madison is going to get her happy ending. No, but Madison is not going to get a happy ending. You want to know why? Your daughter's been out there helping people. Helping. When you have a reunion, if they have a reunion, you got to tell your story. What have you been doing since I thought you were dead? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been stealing children. Babies, infants, mm-hmm. toddlers, youths, teenagers, killing adults. Adults have killed themselves because I have taken their kids. That conversation. Right. Y'all better not end it where they hugging and, oh, I miss you, mommy. I love you. Mm. I want them to have a serious conversation. What have your mom done just to see you again? You out there helping you're not looking for no one else. Alicia didn't look for anyone else. Alicia knows that, but she out there helping people, mm-hmm. and you destroying people and children. Come on right. now, They're stealing babies, right? So according to these girls, Alicia, after she put them, after she put everybody else on the rafts, when she woke up on the beach, and we were all sitting here like, okay, is she dead? Is she alive? She looks. She looks healthy, whatever. Mm -hmm. She did survive. She went back to the tower. The tower was burning. She went back into the building, got gas from the basement for the MRAP. Now, my question is, how much gas did you get? Because this is now six years after all of that. Six years, seven years after all of that. How much gas did you get? Because ain't too many people make just out making gas. Unless you Luciana. And I fi- have a feeling she would have, if she was aware of this, especially this, there's supposedly a network of people who were doing this in Alicia's name. Mm-hmm. Luciana would have heard that. Yeah. And probably would have went to investigate that to think, oh, maybe Alicia is alive. Right. That's another part. <clears throat> they don't they don't know. Right. They have these stories. Where these people came come from. Well, they said they heard Madison's message. So, 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 I mean, yes, but I'm just like, they would have expanded out. Again, we need to look at the map. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but make it make sense, though. That, what, what, LaShawn, have made, what have they made sense? In LaShawn this? going out looking for Rick because she knows Rick is alive. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I need to go get my daughter so that she, so that I can bury her because she deserves to rest in peace. Okay, yes, she does, but so do all the other walkers that are around there. Mm-hmm. The ones who are listening, I just have a question because I'm just confused. Who Girl, hold on, we're gonna get to the Tracy's mom thing in a minute. What, what's yeah, your so question, me- Michelle? No, I'm just saying for the the ones who are listening and not watching, I'm just have a confused face because I'm just oh, confused. Yeah, but. So let's talk about Tracy for a minute. And I'm laughing because I knew before we even started this recording what Casey's screen name was going to be. Tracy needs a whooping. I already knew it. No, No. it's Tracy need a whooping. But you know what? I can understand. Why would they have faith in this child? It is my, my, my question. Why would you put your blind faith in the child of your enemy? First of all, first, first, before we even get to that part, let's talk about how, again, Tracy is supposed to be less than 10 years old. We don't know how old she was, but I'm I'm assuming Troy did not immediately go out and get somebody pregnant after he just got knocked in the head and rescued from a dam. Yeah. No, he had and to recover. Madison specifically mentions in this episode, I need to go finish what I started 10 years ago. Yeah. So we, we know what... We know the timeline from mm-hmm. her knocking Troy over the head to, to now. It's been 10 years. 10 years. So that means Tracy is probably, I'm going to say she's probably about Mo's age. Supposed mm-hmm. to be around that seven, eight-year-old age. 
again, you have a kid that's way too mature. And I understand maybe it's because of the environment that she's living in. Maybe, you know, her, Troy teaching her everything and telling her everything made her a little more mature. But I did not take that for a child of under 10. She did not behave. So when she figured that Victor was just, he only using me, so uh, I'm his pawn. Well, I, right. If, you're, if your dad is Troy, that might be a believable thing. It must be a believable thing. But who, who has a conversation like, hey, yeah, if you ever get kidnapped, uh, this is... And the only person I can believe that on is Judith. That's the only... Things like this, I can believe from her. No, because if you think about it, Tracy was in the hotel when he had um, Charlie captive. So she probably understands and she probably heard the conversation about, hey, if you give us Padre, we'll give you back Charlie. So, and, and also the girls who who showed up in the MRAP, they said that Alicia was not the first person that Troy killed. There were more. There were lots more of us. So if and Tracy, why if why is he killing? Tra- why is he killing? Really? Why is Madison? Remember? But this whole it, thing that's is what I'm saying. Madison. Madison is alive or not? Trying right, to get we- to Madison and trying to find someplace safe for his people, which I get it. I we know he's not trying to find no place safe for his people. No, see well, that's for his daughter is- at least. Because he had a safe place. Part. Because if, if his whole thing was I need a safe place for my daughter, they're giving you the goddamn hotel. But you hell bent on revenge. Mm-hmm. So it don't matter. You still gonna keep the hotel and, and, and you're gonna do what you did to Padre, what you did to goddamn your ranch. And your people die. And, and your, your child people. may die. So this is <sighs> Yeah. But but the whole thing with Tracy that that kind of sort of irritated me, like her her misleading them, her, you know, her smart mouth, all of that stuff. Okay, I can believe that for a child that is scared, for a child who has probably seen those kinds of situations, like, oh, well, let me let me tell them it's here and that'll delay whatever they're going to... I can understand her sense of self-preservation. What I can't understand is how you're going to turn around. First of all, you are the toughest little kid in here spouting all your smart talking mouth and all this other stuff. And then the moment they find out you lied to them and they tie you up to a tree, you're going to sit here and cry. Like, please don't do this. No, I can take you to her. What about if your dad has taught you anything? You even knew Daniel's name first and last when he got in the car. You're Daniel Salazar. So obviously your dad has told you about these people that he is after. What about anything Troy told you? made you think that these people were going to spare your life once you lied to them. Madison is the person who knocked your dad in the head with a hammer, not once, but twice, and left him for dead. You really think she's going to give a fuck about you when you just lied to her about her daughter and she's so focused on this thing about finding her daughter? You really think she was going to be okay with, I just want, oh, I'm bringing you to my mom's walker because I wanted her to get you back. I wanted her to to make you pay for what you did to her. Bitch. That little kid. And I understand she's supposed to be an irritating little kid. Need a whooping. (laughs) Yep. But Need a whole whooping. I was just like, how how many of Luciana's people died? Because of all this, how many? But even like just, Luciana said at the end, like his team, she he, that, that was his weapon. Yeah, he didn't know about them. Yeah, he, he didn't give a shit. And mm-hmm. and the crazy thing is, his team has not realized that yet. Like, are y'all following in this dude so blindly that y'all don't realize? Honey. Because the thing about it is, I'm sorry. At this point in time, in the beginning, we did kind of have to fight over resources and over territory. But in this point in time, most of these adults, you may have been teenagers, whatever, young adults. Mm -hmm. Why are we following someone who is going for revenge? If I'm going to follow someone and we have to kill people, it is literally because we're literally... Not for revenge, 
we found a home and someone is attacking the home. At this point in time, I'm tired. Yeah. I want to settle. If I follow someone for revenge, that basically means I'm going to have to fight their war. Right. You had a whole I may die in the garden. process. I'm not doing that. Right. So these people who are following him, even people who are helping Madison, why? Because mm-hmm. we're not fighting other people trying to take our land. We're fighting other people because he got a grudge. You're mad you. at Madison. And well, you want to take Padre because what? you two go somewhere, deal with your issues. The rest of us going to set this hotel up. Right. We're going to ask for resources with Padre right. and let y'all two kill each other. Yeah, yeah, look, man. let's start, let's start trading. Look, okay, look. Hey, that's what you supposed to do. Alone. Y'all can have a whole look, y'all got y'all got vegetables, you got a garden, you got medical supplies, y'all got a fucking omelet station. I don't see the problem here. Yeah. You know what, Troy? You want to go fight Madison? You mm-hmm. go right on ahead. I'll be right Madison. here, babe. Go. Look, you fight Madison. Look, you can leave Tracy with us while you go handle Right. Because at some it. points, I'm like, did we lose the leaders and all we have left in this world is followers? Oh, yeah. Yes, because Rick, Mich- Rick and Michonne are off doing whatever. Daryl is in fucking Paris. And Ezekiel and Mercer are handling Commonwealth. That, that's what happened. Every, everybody else makes stupid decisions. I mean, even... I I know that June and Dwight and all Morgan was, wouldn't agree to this. With Morgan, you see what Morgan, the, you see what Morgan did. He got the hell on mm-hmm. right, but he wouldn't agree. This is like he he did a lot to save these people, and you literally put them in danger. Mm-hmm. Like you should say, Troy, this is it. We're done. Mm-hmm. Okay. They or just kill have- them already. Right. Y'all you- got guns. You have weapons. You've had the opportunity. When when he when he threw that um prosthetic arm at Madison and she lunged at him, y'all should have let y'all should y'all should have just let her let go. Him. Y'all had it's guns on these people. Y'all should have killed him. Let me tell you, it would have been just like Dawn in the hospital. You kill the bad apple, and everybody's like, wait, wait, wait. It's just her. We don't want no smoke. Troy's people would have done that. Just kill Troy. Troy is the psychopath. We already Mm -hmm. know this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all blindly following his ass. Right. But you know what? Also, if if Troy has been keeping them alive and keeping them going, okay, I can understand the devotion. But again, you had a perfectly good hotel. This hotel has been standing for the whole almost 20 years since the the apocalypse fell. Mm -hmm. They were still eating good. Yeah, what? And and you abandoned that when it was given to you. That's right. why I said this is not making sense. Madison and Troy wouldn't have made it with the other groups. No. Because when they were fighting, they fought, fought to keep their families together. They fought because they started something and people was intruding and trying to take from them. Can Here we just imagine? going around and be like, like this is high school or something. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say high school is like this. I didn't mean to, you know, degrade the high schoolers. <laughs> right. Because I, you just walking around like, oh, we have a grudge from 10 years ago. I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to put it like what? this. Can you imagine Madison having done what she did as far as stealing babies, da, 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 da. Can you imagine if she had come across Rick and Michonne? Ooh. Oh, I'm going to take Judy from you. I'm about to take RJ from you. Dead. Dead. No. Dead. Dead. That's what I'm Dead. saying. She wouldn't have Same made with it. Troy. Rick would have looked at Troy. You know how he has that stance with the gun? It would have been done. Mm -hmm. It would have been done. Like, you coming here for what? You destroying what? For what? For what? For what what reason? Man, if you don't get out of here. And you know, they had to deal with real people. The governor. Mm -hmm. Whispers. Right. Right. And now Madison and Troy. Oh, yeah. They they one day episode. We got One day, girl. Mm Mm-mm. One. Yeah, because they're not smart. They're not. Mm-mm. 
And man, if you want to go okay. look for somebody, go look for your husband that fell out the plane too. Let's bury, let's bury him. Let's go back to the ranch. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But the other thing with Madison, but you ain't lying. I know your priorities is fucked up, right? And then when you when when you should be sitting here going to try to find your daughter, what are you doing? You're in a clearing with a fucking boombox. Lauren Walkers. You can't barely breathe already. Girl, look like she having a hard time with that sledgehammer. You need all your strength so you can go do this. You, you can go on this. I, and I don't want to say it's a stupid mission. I understand as a parent, you want your children to have closure. But you know what? If Alicia was dead, this is seven years after the fact. The fact that she's looking at these walkers as ravaged as they are, as sunken, as, as mm -hmm. I don't know her. I don't know her face. How do you know, like, seriously? Right. You're going to look at somebody after 10 years and say, oh, yeah, I knew who this person was. This was my next door neighbor, blah, blah, blah. How can you tell? Right. Like, I just. She gets on my nerves. She gets on my nerves. She really does. And then all the all the bait switching back and forth with her and Victor and Daniel and everybody is like, at that point, Victor is like, I'm the only one that's trying to save Tracy. And I really feel as much as Victor has flip-flopped over the years, as crazy as he was at the tower i really do feel like he is the only person trying to say hey look let's find a peaceful solution for this he's the only one because i understand june and dwight and all of them they have good intentions okay we're going to give tracy back we're going to give him victor so that mm -hmm. he will leave padre alone he is not going to leave padre alone he has already told y'all that i'm coming for padre so what do you I I just feel like at no. this point everybody is making dumb decisions. Yeah. And it's it's yeah. just like like I would be mad if I was one of the German people. Like I survived 10 years in a hotel during a zombie apocalypse and then I get shot up because y'all dumbasses can't agree on why I got to that. On some stupid. On and some I'm so stupid. sorry. On some stupid. The way Frank was looking at Victor when Victor was trying to negotiate and he was like, no, they're going to kill you, blah, blah, blah. Well, they'll kill me too and I'll come back to you. Frank was looking at him like, like, is this, is, okay. is this really what I meant when I said you can tell me the truth and I'll still stay? <laughs> by you like was this what I was signing up for because I don't think this is what I was signing up for it's what you signed up for, mm -hmm. for with Anton <laughs> I was just like and it wasn't even even Anton the Madison Hotel to give away it wasn't but it did seem like Victor was kind of sort of in charge which is confusing to me because I'm like you can't the fact that took you in because because he's a leader he's, he's, he, yeah. he, he talks slick right and leaders leaders gonna go will lead the group yeah and they probably didn't have a leader they all work together yeah because they were on the team they work together he came in like let me give y'all some that right mm -hmm. right like i've done this before and they're like oh, okay and then he became people felt comfortable and felt mm -hmm. safe and that he was a good leader and they followed mm -hmm. that was like we're losing the leaders in this world because mm -hmm. leaders would be like, we're not doing this. There's no point in this. Right. Not this time, Frank is like, at this point in time, we need to rebuild. At a certain point, we need to stop going around and killing people who killed, killed one of your friends from two years ago, the dog from five years ago. Right. It's over. We're all trying to survive. That part. Right. We're all trying to survive. And it's just like... Again, and I know this is how I know this is how it works, which sucks. This is how uh, society works. Y you're gonna find the group of people 
that are stronger, that mm-hmm. have more, you know, more people, more resources, and they're going to try to absorb or get rid of the weaker group. I don't know why this always happens. I know survival of the fittest and all that other bullshit, but in a situation like this, where more than half of your world is walking around as corpses, mm-hmm. y'all need to be banding together, figuring out, okay, so we have 60 houses here in Alexandria. We have enough for everybody to have their own house, but we need some help with these fences. Let's do that. I mean, literally what the mm-hmm. Alexandrians did at first mm-hmm. because they were there as shelter. And then when they realized nobody was coming to save them, Raj was like, oh, okay, well, let's go build a wall. Let's do this. Let's do that. Mm. If you did more of that, and if you were really looking out for other people, it could work. But see, at that time, they were obviously trying to really, really, really survive. And at this point, their past survivor, like, okay, we made it. Now let me take what y'all got. What? Mm -hmm. Right. Why why are we 12 years into this and you still want to fight about some shit? Like, it's literally, at this point, people have made resources enough to go around. Right. And not only that, why are you still scavenging? Like, you ain't learned, everybody else has learned, look, you got free books. Go find a book. Learn how to plant a crop. Learn how to do, Mm -hmm. you've had almost 20 years at this point. You should not still be looking for scraps because you don't know how to do shit. That Mm -hmm. part. That part. Mm-hmm. I unless mean, you are someone like world beyond and you ain't never been in the world but even then right. they had everything they needed within the walls yeah if you still scrounging at this point like god damn so this whole this is stupid this whole thing where, where Tracy had to lead them to um, led them to the field with all the walkers that were frozen because she was Question. trying to say that it was Alicia but her mom was in there you got all these walkers frozen did you see when they were trying to figure it out on the map they was like we right here they in millersville that's where they pointed to on you y'all really i didn't see it he was she was like we right here i'm like y'all in millersville so again they gotta be like (laughs) off the coast of savannah somewhere in that area yeah that's gotta be where padre is yeah for y'all to just be in Millersville. Right. Again, I will say this. Um, the part where Madison was pulling sense, back the hair. Okay. It don't even <laughs> the make part sense. where Madison was pulling back the hair and they start showing like the little flashes of Alicia. I did like that. But again, this is why I feel like Alicia's still alive. They're gonna they're gonna bring her in. We have two episodes left. She's gonna show up in she's gonna show up in either the next episode or the last episode, most likely the last episode. And then it's gonna be like, oh, guess what? All these people died for nothing. Cause your ass was alive the whole time. But what would be ironic is if Alicia shows up and mama die. <laughs> kind of like Ophelia and uh um uh, can't think his goddamn we just Daniel. can't say that I would be mad. I know you won't. I just... You, you, you'll you be at the TV finally! Finally! She <laughs> just irks me to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. I just... Mm-hmm. I just can't. You you sitting here doing all this stuff, Guess what? killing all these walkers Guess with what? your sledgehammer. I'm gonna make this promise to you. If she is ever at any con, I am paying for your picture. <laughs> <laughs> I am paying for that. I picture. love it. I I'm love it. it. But I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, look, I'm just gonna let you know you did a good job of making me hate that character. I will tell I will tell her I will tell people this before that you know what. Your character was an ass, but I like you. I told that to Tao Rap Olsen when we met him last year. I said, let me tell you, said Sebastian got what he deserved and it was glorious to watch. Yes, it was. But it was. you are such a sweet beautiful. dude. He just started laughing. He was like, well, that, that's a compliment. That was beautiful. The way he oh, went down. Yeah. So 
I'm telling you, like I was saying, but, but he is sitting the fact- there with the sledgehammer. She doing all this stuff. And then she walking in this cold with the walkers and Trace is telling her she look, she does this dramatic thing with the was like, you, you are not Darth Vader. Get off my screen. Just how you not Darth Vader. Just oh my God. And then you introducing three new characters. Two two episodes before the end of the show. Oh, we're carrying I, I just brother. can't wait she for this to us. end. I thought they was gonna say their name was Alicia, like everybody did for Negan. That's what I thought. Was just like, <laughs> well, they didn't say it, me? but she implied it. Yes, she, she did though. Because she did. because when Victor said, "What is your name?" and she was like, "Uh, we want everyone else to think that Alicia is still out there carrying on her but work." They call each her. other Alicia. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so really, really, I'm I'm just kind of. I can't wait till we do our final recap. Even though we are totally trashing the episodes now, it was really some good points in the fear. It it just went a different direction. Yeah. For me, that's I I just, and I understand we gotta go back to the original person. But again, I still disagree with that. We didn't have to. We didn't. Or change it around because right now, Madison can't redeem herself for me. There's nothing she can do in the next two episodes for me to be like, oh, that is the reason. Like at this point, I want her to die like Sebastian. But him, I understood (laughs) why he did the things he did. You know what I'm saying? He was privileged and he was a brat. I got Mm -hmm. that. This woman right here is nothing. I want her to die so that everyone else can live in peace. Live, yes. Because you know, at this point, when Luciana died, is done. Okay. Huh? Lu- I said, you know, at this point, Lucy is done. Oh, hell. She is so yeah, sick of Madison is. at this point. Yeah. She's oh, like, shit. we will live in a peaceful life, helping people, clearing roads. We were doing some good, then your dumb ass show up. And we're not. Like, no one is doing what they need to do. Just, mm mm-mm. I do have a question. Um, Our German dude turned fairly quick. He did. Because... Some of the people that was on the ground started turning quick, too. I mean, y'all literally just died. Like, Frank was still trying to save you. So obviously yeah. like when he was hold, you couldn't have been dead when he was holding your guts in, not yet. Mm-hmm. And then all of a well, sudden, I think he, he might have been because if you looked at his face, it already had the little veins going across it. So I thought he was already dead, like. And I'm gonna need Frank to go back to his first aid basics because let, let him be, dude. Yeah, but but we said it all depends on what your body is going through and that adrenaline and non adrenaline and. The time, because now it's been some time, so it's mm-hmm. all up in your system, and I don't know. It's like how you catch a cold. Some people take longer than others. Yeah, sure. but I, I just, I feel so sorry for Luciana because I know she's like, I'm so done with this. I feel sorry for but everyone said, who's no, following. Luciana said that I'm not going to lose my people for you. No, we're not. She but she's steady losing times. her people because of Madison. Yeah. Right. And that's right. the point. Right. It's like, for what? I mean, you can't, and you can't be all right with this. Like, okay, I have to say this. You have a child that you are that that you have are holding hostage right now. You go into the car to get a map. Why do you leave the radio right in front of her face? Like literally, you 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 turn the knobs so that you can hear who's talking on what channel. She already knows her dad is on the radio. Why do you leave the radio right in front of her face? She's not a toddler. She knows how to use a, a walkie-talkie a radio. I'm just saying. I'm, I don't know. And to then, move of the course, story hey, along, dad, I'm, a, I'm, I'm at a gas station. I'm such a... Su- to move this story along. I'm just... I'm so done. I'm done. And then, okay, the other thing. They mentioned the tapes. So the girls who um who come in, 
doing the work of Alicia, dressed like Alicia and all this other stuff, you know, they're talking to Madison like they know her. She was like, um, do I know? Like, why are you looking at me? Is there a problem? They were like, well, we just want you to know what an honor. It if y'all had been listening to Madison on the radio, like y'all claim y'all did, y'all should know that Madison is atoning for some stupid shit she did, like stealing other people's children. It's right. an honor for you to meet her just because she's Alicia's mother? And it's not an honor because she's literally stole children and now she's getting other people killed. Mm -hmm. To bury oh, we feel like daughter. we know you. We watched the tapes. This ain't the person. This ain't the person to oh, honor. not the person. No, you better off with The person who Victor. recorded those tapes, and I get what Madison said. She was like, those tapes don't matter anymore. And I understand, Victor, you trying to bring her back just like you got brought back, just like everybody else got brought back. Just like Morgan and them brought Dwight back and all, I, I get it. But see, but Dwight is still it. even different at the same time because Dwight and Sherry just got involved with the group that just didn't do what they were supposed to do. And they got caught up and they wanted to make sure each one was taken care of. Right. That's understandable. And either way, when they go off, they still try to help people. Mm -hmm. I just... Madison, Victor, y'all keeping up mess. It's like the people who keep up mess. Mm -hmm. It's a group of people who's like, well, let's squash it. We're done. And then this group of people like, let's keep up the mess. They're keeping up the mess. And I I don't even know if I want to say it's Victor. And then June, I'm mad at June. I'm mad at June for being involved in this too. She was better. They I, all know better. They, they do. all know better. I'm sorry, friends. I'm just a tad bit disgusted. I, yeah, I I'm just to the point. I'm like, it just it needs to be over. They 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 just. I, I kind of feel like, and not saying it was anywhere on this scope, but I kind of feel like Game of Thrones season eight. It's like you had the potential for this to be a great story. You knew that you were ending. You had the potential to end it on a great note. And I just feel like y'all were like, well, let's just throw some shit. I think you said this, Michelle, at the beginning of this season. Let's just throw some shit on the wall and see what sticks. And that's what we'll go with. Right. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it feels like. Like you didn't, you didn't have, you were given one last season and then you're like, I don't, we don't know where we should go with this. Because all this wasted time where we could have Again, found out what happened with others. We can have stories from each perspective of the people from, you know, last season. Right. When they got on the boats. No, we're stuck with this. Y'all could have sent them home with Morgan to, to Alexandria to deal with the Commonwealth. Give, give them some something, something tangible. Like. Yeah, like. I don't I just, know. Yeah, I, I just. And I know that's probably some other stuff that we we haven't talked about yet, but it's just I I'm Did so frustrated. Know this? this is the one thing that I noticed when they was at the fro okay, where the fuck did they go to get to Frozen Walkers? That was the first one. Second, they were somewhere in um if it was just in Milledgeville, it should around Georgia for frozen. Right. But but here's the so y'all, if if y'all are in Milledgeville, if y'all are all the way on that coast, Tracy told Madison after we find out that her mother is not the real person, was was not Alicia. Oh, he killed her near a mansion on such and such. Then you find out from Luciana, this is Fort Worth, Texas. So now you about to go, you about to take this M rap. Which could probably save all of these other people's lives. You're going to take the MRAP and go all the way back to Texas so you can bury your Walker daughter if you can find her and your son whose body they 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 dug up to cremate and who is not sitting in a coffee can. Yep. This is your purpose. This mm -hmm. is how you're going to give back. This is how you're going to atone. 
for the for kidnapping the kids. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how you do it. I hold all your friends at gunpoint and still in their car. Yeah, instead of reuniting parents with their kids, like you said, you was gonna do right. That's not what you're well, doing. You know what? You out here fighting your own battle because you know what? Your ass didn't double tap hard enough 10 years ago. Like if you was going to kill somebody, especially in the way that you killed Troy, you should have made sure he was dead. Mm -hmm. You should have made sure. Which I know that's the writer's thing because I, I'm sorry. We saw a body. You can't yeah. tell me you're going to hit somebody that hard twice what? in the head in the temple and he's still alive he has no as far as we can tell Ain't no he has no physical deficiencies he has no like, right so mm -hmm. and, and and you weren't even you weren't even asthmatic back then you were in full strength you My question is though, how did the um, how did the walkers get out the snow so easy if they had been frozen there for so long? Girl, they had food in front of them. That was the motivation. That to unstick I yourself. Starving. They had food because we don't know how long it's been since Troy left them there. Mm -hmm. They starving, and all of a sudden here, here you go. You got three that show up. Then you got another four. Oh, it's a fucking buffet now. Yes, let me get my food. Girl, yes. When they broke out of that, so I said they show breaking free kind of easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they had a buffet in front of them. Hilarious, but and y'all um, know, I let look, let me say this for the listeners too. I am not the type of person that likes to just negative talk a whole episode. I it, I very rarely do. I mean, if you li especially if you listen to our Marvel stuff, I'm one of the apologists. I'm one, I'm one of the ones who's always trying to give the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who's like, it wasn't but there are certain things where it's just like you. It's hard to find something positive to say. This is almost on par with Anthony and I's coverage of the stand, the new one. It's just. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's because hard. even with when we did Dead City, we wasn't on the story. We were more on yeah. <laughs> she keep doing this. Like we're on the character and not changing and she needs to change like mm -hmm. this is more of why did y'all do this and right. why do you have Madison be this way? Mm-hmm. It's just Which is it's, interesting because like we're, mother's love. No, I'm a, a mother. mother. I am mother. too, but I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Especially if you are okay. So one of the things they keep talking about is what Alicia would have done. What Alicia would have wanted. Alicia, 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 Alicia. If she knew her mother was allowing other people to die, mm -hmm. so that she can go back and find mm -hmm. a body and put it to rest. Alicia would be horrified. Like it's different if you're right there in the moment, the person dies, you want to bury them like they did for Nick. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me there was any good reason for them to go and dig Nick's body up, except for the fact that they felt guilty because of the circumstances that they buried him. They buried him right there where a weapons cache was mm -hmm. because yeah. it was convenient. So I can right. understand feeling guilty about that, but enough to go back and dig up dig up a body? Right. And then no. no. And then cremate and and I'm sorry. No. I have, I have look, I have Where watched you find the crematorium. Huh? Where you find the crematorium? So so that was gonna be my thing. Cause I was gonna say I've watched enough horror, I've watched enough supernatural, and I know that if you just burn a body, just regular campfire it's well, not gonna burn that body enough for it to be ashes like that you have and it's to easy to find find a funeral home it is so they just went to a funeral home but it's probably the, the funeral home that funeral home ain't got no gas that funeral home ain't got no electricity come on now we've seen funeral I'm, homes I'm, in the walking dead universe that let's not play these I, games I, I know no. i'm just trying to be helpful no. in this situation no. But if you put yourself in a situation, 
God, I love my baby to death, but clearly if she become a walker, I'm not looking for her. N- not not six seven states over. And I'm going to be honest oh. with you, I don't want to see her that way either. No. So that no. that that is a no. You know how hard that was for Morgan and like. Right. But Morgan, he left. He saw his, how hard that was. It took him. Right. Him. How, how but he knew he exactly where he left him. But still. Yeah. That was that was traumatizing. Mm-hmm. You to do this. I'm I'm barely enough trying to figure out if I'll be like Marshawn and look for Anthony. I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> that boy, I had a good husband. <laughs> I like how she turned to look at him real quick. Well, he hear me, but I'm just saying. I'm I'm just so the choices that you guys are making. I I don't know. The choices you guys are making for these characters is not making sense. Right. right. Do you want us to like her? Do you want us to hate her? hate her pity her how do you want want us to feel about her feel right and why is this important is this how you want to end this show right on this note right i don't know how world beyond ended i mean i know how the walking dead in it that that is an ending Mm -hmm. make it make sense and it's not making sense. So is this is this is how you want to go out? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We so. have two episodes left. Mm. So I guess we just need to decide, are we going to cover the two episodes together since they aired together back to back? Cover them together. Okay. Go, go ahead and, 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 and rip the bandaid off and just get it over with. All right. Well, I think we've said all we need to say, so I don't think we need any final thoughts on this. I just, I, I, I would just say, okay, let, let's put it like this. What do you hope to see in, in the final two episodes? What do you want resolved? Do you want anyone to, are, are you looking for Alicia to show up? Do you want her to show up or like? I think just, she should show up just so we can have that closure because that's the whole point. She got to show up. Because you can't, that's one loose end you cannot leave. Whether she alive or dead, she Mm -hmm. needs to find her body and so. I hope they do find a sanctuary that's going to be safe for them. Well, supposedly Padre is still. I mean, they're going to destroy Padre. You think he he is? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And they're going to end up either back at the hotel or with Luciana. But, I mean, you really can't go back to the hotel because they what? Charlie blew up a tanker in front of it. There's a whole bunch of dead walkers oh, yeah, in right. around. Yeah. And they trashed the hotel. You saw what the hotel looked like when Charlie yeah, was in true. there. That's so true. who's in charge of Padre? I, I don't know because let's see. Victor it looked like it was is out. Be- Frank is out. So some of the German people or okay, some, well, maybe Dove, because Dove is not with them right now. So maybe so, Dove and some of the other prefects, I don't know. Because as okay. she said in the beginning of the episode, she was like, one of the prefects could have taken over. Victor was like, they're children. And so are you. <laughs> um, Alicia, for me, I don't want Alicia to come back. I want them to run into someone who tells her ending. Okay. And we see it in the flashback. I'm fine with that. And then I want Madison to realize what she has done and done to other people was for nothing. And then she slowly passed on in the night. Dead. To make this clear. I didn't say pass on to another to state. Have a peaceful death. I didn't say that. <laughs> but I mean, I don't wish a bad death on her. I'm just. I need her to go so everyone else can be safe. Can be safe. Find them a place. Say, you know what? We need to stop this fighting, friends. Let's get together. Let's mm-hmm. create a community. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And However, what I think is going to happen, and honestly, I don't know. I really don't know because I haven't finished the, the last episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I feel like Alicia will come back, but I still need Madison to go. I need them to say their touching words and let her leave. Because one thing is, 
I'd rather her die than for, for Alicia. I'd rather Madison die than Alicia later in a couple of months they had the conversation of what their mom did, what her mom did. I'd rather she don't have to have that conversation and she can just end with my mom passed. She did things she did. I don't understand it. Such, 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 such. Right. Because if they have a happy ending, they go off in the sunset. Mm -hmm. That's some shit right there. Yeah. Yeah. I That's not think, fair. Yeah. That ain't fair it's not. to the people in the hotel. That ain't fair to Luciana's people who are dying. That ain't fair to the children who was taken from their parents. It's and not. The parents. It's not. And I, I agree with both of y'all. I, I feel like Alicia will come back. She will make an appearance. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like either Troy or Madison or maybe both will die by the end by the end of the series. Oh, oh I, Troy's gonna die. Yeah, he's Troy's going, going to die. So um and I, I feel like the daughter should too, because then she gonna come, she gonna grow up and wanna take revenge later. We don't got time for this, man. We gotta squash everything now. Yeah. So uh, my my main thing is Alicia, I don't mind her coming back. I'm kind of like Casey. I, I want some closure on that story. Is she alive? Is she not? Um, and then also, I just absolutely adore Alicia Dedman Carey. So I would love to see her back as that character. Um, Troy, like I said, die. You've caused enough trouble. Madison can die. You've caused enough trouble. People, too, enough people have died on your behalf. Um, I don't know what else there is. I mean, you have all of the other people. Like, I really don't know what i want for them i i want dwight and sherry to have a happy ending i feel like after mm. everything they have mm. been through even with all of the bad stuff they did i feel like they deserve it because they again they were really just trying to survive under negan and we all know what negan is like or was like so i don't yeah june i i just need all of them to like i i just i don't know I, I just know Matt, Madison has to go. Troy has to go. I'm 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 done with it. I mean, if y'all wanna if y'all wanna take some of them, like tell Dwight, let Dwight and Sherry go back home. Okay, let them go back to Alexandria. Let let Daryl see that that Dwight is a changed person and can do something mm -hmm. for good. I mean, hey, I I wouldn't even mind that. I know we're probably not gonna get that. Um. I would like to see another glimpse of Morgan, but I don't think we're going to get that because I think Lenny Jones confirmed that his last episode was Morgan's last appearance. So, um, yeah, but at, at this point, I'm just, I'm ready for it to be over so we can move on to the next thing, which for us, I believe is talking about the Daryl Dixon series. So I'm just kind of ready to get to that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, like I said, two episodes left. We will cover them as one in the next episode. And hopefully, um, even after all of this mess, they will come to a decent ending for the series, Fear the Walking Dead. But for now, that is it for our show. You can find us online at www.phantomhybrid.com. We are on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, X, uh, threads blue sky everything as fandom hybrid you can watch our videos on our youtube channel you can chat with us on our discord channel and you can listen to us on all major podcast streaming platforms thanks for listening we hope you join the conversation next time <laughs>